Hey guys, what is going on? Hunter here from VW World. Here is another one of our 2019 Atlases. This one being an SEL. So the big changes on this one for the 2019 model, we'll take a look at in a second, because it's gonna be found in the interior. The outside remains mostly unchanged. We can see some uh, little uh, outline trim pieces on the fog lights there that are more of a metallic color. Take a close look, the uh, LED headlights in this one also remain mostly unchanged. This one, we're gonna be running the smaller wheel, the 18s, not the 20s. This one is the pure white color. So being the SEL, we're gonna have a, a lot of features on this one since it's almost top of the line. The only thing that's gonna be above this one is gonna be the SEL Premium, which you'll find little things like the 360 cameras and the cooled seats. But still a beautiful car on this one. You still get that huge panoramic sunroof. Take a quick look at the passenger side here. Of course, we have the passenger power seat. We'll get to a lot of the uh, technology here in a second on the other side. Take a look at the back real quick. Oh yeah, and this one, uh, Let's see, this one has a uh, MSRP right around 43,000. And uh, with the added options, we're right around 45 or right under 45. Um, yep, with the, uh, looks like mud guards, a few other thing mats. Just some of those accessory add-ons on this one. This one we have the uh, solid bench third row we don't have the captain's chairs the uh, seats in the 18s feel virtually the same as far as the cushion and comfort I don't think much has changed there the uh, panoramic sunroof again once uh, are barely changed on that one the uh, Easy third row to entrance is still pretty nice. Liking that, the window screens. Let's run around here to the back real quick. So this one is the uh, 3.6 liter with the four motion, all wheel drive system, eight speed transmission. And of course the uh, SEL trim package. Quick look down below, get the fake exhaust in there. Quick look in the back. Of course, the auto hatch. We activated from the key as well as from inside or the back here. Gives you a few different ways to uh, open that thing. Easy folding seats. You go completely flat all the way around. 96.8 cubic feet of space with all those seats down. It's a lot of room back here. Definitely fun to look up from the rear seat there with the panoramic roof. And being an SEL2, we do have these, uh, what was found before is the uh, LED tail lights. You can see the LEDs in there. More of a SEL premium thing. So again, pretty awesome to bring in a lot of the features down, trim levels, and trying to add new stuff. Walk around here to the driver's seat where the uh, biggest news is for the SEL trim package. And that big news, of course, is the 12.3 inch digital cockpit, which used to be also found on the uh, SEL premium, now found on the SEL. So power seats, memory seats found right here. Again, the power hatch, mirrors, heated mirror. Let's sit inside here. So you can see that digital cockpit, pretty awesome. Always loved it since it came out on the uh, 2018s on the SEL Premium. This one will have 
remote start. So a lot of the bells and whistles on this one from Nav, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, which the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is found on lower trim models, so nothing too special for the SEL. Although we do have now the also the heated steering wheel, pretty nice feature. Keeping those hands warm if you're in a uh, cold climate. This one does have the three zone, like the SE with tech, so dual zone in the front, different zone temperature in the back. Our USB port down below there for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as in the glove box here. That can also be used for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto if you want to stow your device in here. Although the uh, USB, let me see if I can reach this around at a weird angle. So the uh, third zone climate there, but down below we have the two other USB ports. Those cannot be used for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We still have all the uh, different 4x4 modes. Whether you're in a snow, off-road, off-road, custom, can also be driven in sport mode, eco mode, lots of different modes there. Start-stop can be turned off easily from right here. So here's the uh, push the start button, start it up. We are low on fuel, so won't be able to use the remote start feature looks like this view is in off-road mode you can kind of see there on the left hand gauge how it's showing your turning angle as i turn the wheel here you can see that number go up and down kind of fun kind of interesting asking me if i do want to find a fuel station we're going to hit cancel we'll bring up this nav and we'll switch the map here to the digital cockpit. And then what we're gonna do next is hit the OK button here so we can shrink those gauges, get that map even bigger. One of my favorite views on the uh, Atlas, or has been on the Atlas SEL Premium, but now you can get on the SEL, which is nice. So a lot you can do on the digital cockpit. Definitely a nice feature having it drop down one trim level. A lot of the other tech for the most part remains the same. Like I said, the heated steering wheel is nice, but that is a quick view on this 2019 Atlas SEL 4 Motion. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit like if uh, you learned anything today. Greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Always going to try bringing out more and more Volkswagen content for you guys. But all right, guys, thanks for watching.